ears. They are a part of our everyday lives. We use them to hear conversations, requests, and to pay attention in a classroom setting. We also use our ears when we watch TV or even listen to music. There are many shapes and sizes to ears, big, small, large, and even some are pointy. What goes on inside the ear is most important though. Let's take a trip and travel in the ear. The ear has many functions. Let's start from the outside and work our way in. Um, first ear, we're looking at uh, the external ear, uh, the oracle or the pinna. And through here, we're going in through the exter external auditory canal, wherein if uh, you get fungus or bacteria, then you have swimmer's ear. And we're taking us to the tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum. And sound waves hit the eardrum, causing it to vibrate. And then here we have uh, the hammer, or the malleus bone, also known as the hammer and the incus bone, also known as the anvil. And then here we have the stirrup, or the stapes. On the stapes, there is the oval window. After the stapes, we have uh, the vestibule. In between the semicircular canals, that give us our sense of balance and the cochlea um, which helps us in hearing. Uh, we also have going back this way is the cranial nerve vestibulocochlear nerve. And the round window is located on the bottom of that. Connecting the middle ear to the back of the throat is the eustachian or the auditory tube. <laughs> 